Okay, hello YouTubers, this is Skipazoa, and this is an HD because this is the most important video I've ever done. This is my brand new PC, the Asus Essentio CG5275. This is a powerhouse gaming machine, I'll tell you what. Uh, 8 gigabytes RAM, uh, quad-core Intel i5 processor, uh, one terabyte hard drive, um... You know, I'm saying ums again. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know the complete specs of this baby. Um, I'll be posting them in the description. Look how big this suck is. Part of it hangs off this end, and part of it hangs off the end in the back. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, the keyboard is the same. I'm using the uh, HP uh, Slimline keyboard. Uh, mainly because I'm well adapted with these keys for uh, Battlefield Heroes, so I kept the keyboard and, gave, and put the other one away. Here's a mouse that I came with. It. It's a nice optical mouse, uh, as you can see. And it has a weird design to it. Look at that. How epic is that? So that's a nice little design. It's like laser points over here. Uh, it has a nice matte... No, not matte, but it has a nice gloss finish and I guess like everyone else complaining about it, it's not good because then eventually you get fingerprinty. The scroll wheel? You can feel it click but you don't you know, hear it click, it's not a very clicky scroll wheel. Uh, so let me show you some features. It is an Intel graphics card by the way, I do know it's an Intel graphics card but you know other than that, oh hold on. A little sticky that has to come off. Okay. So now, first of all, we're going to open up, as you've already seen. Really? You're going to wobble on me now? Make me look bad in front of YouTube? You got your uh, first compartment, which uh, has uh, SD card readers, uh, headphone, uh, microphone, and four USB slots. That's awesome. Down here is your CD-ROM drive or your DVD burner. Dual layer. I still haven't figured out how to close this thing without pushing on the, pushing on the, you know, this thing. And I really don't like to do that. And I'm looking all over here to see if there's any buttons or mechanisms. But I don't see any. And that's the bad part. If I had to say there's any bad part about this. Because I don't like pushing on this thing. There you go. Okay, and down here is an extra compartment. For another drive. If I may. Um, let me see. You got the Zeus Lego here. Label. Uh, the rest is just nothing. I believe, anyway. I still have some access tape down here. Yeah, I'll get that later. <coughs> uh, well, I'm not going to pull out the back, um, but I'll pretty much tell you what's in the back. You got one HDMI port, um, you got the Ethernet, RG, RJA, or RJC card up to a thousand uh, up to a gigabyte of internet let me see what else you got your standard uh, you got your six USB ports in the back so yes this computer does have ten USB ports woohoo um let me see and mind you guys this is not a review yet I mean when I do the review I will be taking it out I'm showing you everything. So this is just like an overview. Anyway, just move it on just so I don't have to hear those comments. Um, <clears throat> so let me see. It has a, a VGA port, uh, a PS2 port for like normal PS2 mice. Um, <laughs> has uh, four extra expansion slots. Um, I'm assuming one is PCI 16. Uh, the other is PCI-1, and the rest are just P normal, um, 
expansion slots if you want to add another sound card or modem or whatever. I don't think, I believe this does come with a modem, I'm not too sure. Uh, I have to check the back, I don't think it does, and I really don't care, because dial up is obsolete. So this is it, this is my new, um, my new baby. My, uh, <coughs> uh what you call it, Asus, uh, Essentio, uh, CG25, uh, 5275. Now, the only beef I really have with this is... And I do find a couple of flaws. Like, first of all, there's a brown block under that computer. I don't know if you're able to see it. Hopefully, uh, you'll be able to see it. Right here. That, due to the computer, it's slantiness. I would rather remove that and just be done with it, you know? It's just, like, extra stupidity, if you ask me. Now, let me show you what my beef is with this. Now, when you plug it in... Okay, and you plug it in. Now you think that's in, right? No, you gotta push harder. How stupid is that? I hate plugs like this. I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, it is to me because mine slides back and forth. Uh, because I don't have a proper uh, setting for it, but I mean, it's one way it is because these bars keep it safe. But I mean, it is really annoying. Uh, another beef I have is... Uh, yeah, that's my beef right there. That the, uh, DVD drive does not have a closed one. So, yeah, I, I mean, I haven't found it yet. Now, that's very weird. Why did that lock up when that happened? Try it again. Okay, so I guess it can't, it has to be flat, okay. Alright, so then that's, that's good. Um, I could say this is also another downer too, the way that you have it. From, you know, because I don't use speakers anymore, guys. I have a flat panel with Dell monitor I bought you too. And I 86 my speakers. I don't like speakers. I wanted to get a monitor with speakers, but this one didn't have it at least. Uh, and I am running Windows 7 Pro Home Premium. So, let's see. Yes, but this is my only beef. I mean, if you guys know how, if there's a, if there's a button on this drive door here somewhere, um, to close it once it's open, uh, please let me know in comments. Thank you. Um, so this was the overview. If I said review earlier, I didn't mean it, because I didn't plan on doing a review. Of the Asus Essentio, that I know that's called, uh, a couple of them called Essentias. But this is an Essentio, um, CG5275, let me see if you can see it now. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't know why my window thing needs to constantly be refreshed, it's annoying. Okay, here it is, Essentio, uh, Azus. Uh, CG, yeah, and that's my score right there, and you got Intel CPU, 3.22 gigahertz, uh, like I said, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 64 bit, there you go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to redo this checky thing now that I've updated some drivers and see what it comes out with. Okay, hello YouTubers. Uh, now it's recalculated and it is 4.9. Uh, here's my ratings real quick. Uh, memory, no, processor, calculation per second, 7.0. Uh, memory, RAM, 7.1. Uh, what is that say? Graphics, uh, 4.9. Um, what you got? What else you got? You got gaming graphics and primary hard disk, and they both came out 53 and 59. So, this is a very good rating, personally, for my computer. Um, my other computers had 3.0 or 3.3. 
Um, I believe this is 10 away from the maximum that you are allowed to get. So that's pretty cool. Um, I like it. So this is uh, Skibazoa and her Asus CG52715 gaming computer. <laughs> and uh, just to let you guys know, this is fully, fully upgradable. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, it's fully upgradable. You can rip out everything in here and just put your own custom stuff in. Which is another reason why I got it. So this is uh, Skipazoa. And I am out. Uh, the review will come probably next week.